The question relative to the Right to Repair Act, I think, is a result of the new technology we have been introduced into school to school buses since 2006, 7, 8, 9, and 10. As this technology becomes more and more complicated and dependent on management systems on board the bus, manufacturers are, re are reluctant to give out their source codes relative to how to repair the fault code that may appear on their computer. One of the things that uh, uh, was an agreement between the EPA on the 2010 emissions was that the manufacturers would have the sole right to determine fault codes on those emission systems and repair them by themselves without any outside shops doing that. As a result of that, the next step in emissions requirements is called OBD2, which by 2014, manufacturers have to open up their logic systems and their man ECUs to allow maintenance technicians to repair the fault codes that appear on their computers. So I, I think we will, as this technology gets more and more familiar with our technicians, we will see that all opening up and that proprietary software language will become more common, commonly available to our technicians. 